Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. We already know that square and rectangle are the kinds of quadrilaterals. Let us now study another kind of quadrilateral called trapezium. It is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Look at this figure. It has only one pair of parallel sides. Hence it is a trapezium. We can put arrow marks to indicate parallel lines. Kite is another special type of quadrilateral. A kite has two distinct consecutive pairs. That means in a kite AB is equal to AD while BC is equal to CD and one pair of equal consecutive side is AB and AD and the other pair is BC and CD. And hence we define that kite is a quadrilateral with exactly two distinct consecutive pair of sides of equal length. We define another type of quadrilateral called parallelogram. It is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. Look at the diagram. Then line segment AB is parallel to DC. Similarly, BC is parallel to AD. Also note that angle A and angle C are called opposite angles. Similarly, angle B and angle D are opposite angles. Next, AB and BC are adjacent sides and angles on the same line like angle A and angle B are called adjacent angles. And now we shall move to the properties of parallelogram. First property of parallelogram states that the opposite sides of parallelogram are of equal length. To prove this property, let us take a parallelogram ABCD and draw its diagonal AC. Also mark the angles 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then angle 1 is equal to angle 2 since AB is parallel to DC and alternate angles are equal. And for the same reasons, angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Now consider triangle ABC and triangle ADC. We can see that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 and AC is a common side. 
for both the triangles. That means both the triangles are congruent and they are congruent by angle side angle property. This implies that AB is equal to DC and BC is equal to AD. Hence proved that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Let us read the question. Find the perimeter of the parallelogram PQRS. From the property we know that in a parallelogram the opposite sides are equal. That means PQ is equal to SR is equal to 12 centimeters and QR is equal to PS is equal to 7 centimeters and so perimeter is equal to PQ plus QR plus RS plus SP which is equal to 12 plus 7 plus 12 plus 7. We can also mark in our diagram. Which is equal to 38 centimeters. Second property of parallelogram states that the opposite angles of a parallelogram are of equal measures. That means angle B is equal to angle D and angle A is equal to angle C. Now let us try to prove it. While doing property number 1, we had proved that triangle ABC and ADC were congruent as angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 they are alternate angles and AC is equal to AC so the triangles were congruent by ASA property but what does congruency mean? practically congruency means that if these two triangles are put on each other then they will overlap. So that means if triangle ABC and ADC are congruent then angle B will be equal to angle D. Now suppose in the same parallelogram instead of drawing the diagonal AC we draw BD then again by the same properties we can prove that ABD and BCD are congruent. We can say that in triangle ABD and triangle BCD angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 as they are alternate angles and BD is equal to BD is a common side so the triangles are congruent and hence angle A will be equal to angle C so 
वी हैव प्रूव्ड दैट इन अ पैलेलोग्राम ए बी सी डी एंगल बी इज इक्वल टू एंगल डी एंड एंगल ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी हेंस द अपोजिट एंगल्स ऑफ अ पैलेलोग्राम आर ऑफ इक्वल मेजर्स